Okay, chat. Oh, no, this, this is by myself. All right, guys. So this is a best of five uh, for the Whispers of the Old God format. So this is every expansion from Whispers of the Old Gods until uh, Kobolds and Catacombs. So the two years. All right. <clears throat> We're back once again to Humble Raren in some random format we invented. This was a very powerful time in Hearthstone. And it led to a lot of interesting decks. And I, I literally can't tell you how excited I am to see what raid I made for this. Without the classic, without the, the basic set, right? Like a lot of the classes are missing these fundamental like pieces. But you know, you try your best, right? <laughs> I'm not sure if any of my decks are good, but since Gadgetson's in this format, we can build Jade. I think I'm gonna keep Jade Spirit. I, I looked at all the, the decks and it was, it was pretty tough to build an aggro deck. Like you could, but you had to really take a hit on card quality. So I, my guess is our decks are all gonna be pretty slow. So I kind of like built mine to, uh, I built mine to be grindy. You know, they're very greedy decks. I have a bunch of late game more than I should. Some discover stuff. You know what I have to start doing is playing more discover cards when we do these formats. Cause like there's all these sets you just can't play cards from even though they're so broken, but it, you can still discover them. Ooh, I like the greedy spray more. I feel like if you don't pick Druid, it's gonna be really weird. I guess I'm just gonna devolve that. That's gotta be worth it. Yeah, I think that's worth it. Come on, Arcane Spells cost. that's so good. There are totem synergies in this format, so I will kill this. In case you haven't seen this card, if you're an old, old Hearthstone Andy, clicking on this video. Okay, he's drawing the nuts. This is gonna be a tough game. Also, I, I think Jade Druid is Shaman's worst matchup. I almost put a Skulking Geist in this deck, but I don't I don't think I did in the end. Oh shoot, he's going for the Jade package and Shaman. I don't know if I did that. I picked, so again, this is the Discover Angle. I think Stonehill Defenders is a good card. Oh, I could just play the two drop actually. <laughs> the Gastropod is so funny. I mean, the Gastropod's kind of gas, isn't it? I don't mind trading here. We have inevitability. I have Jade Idol. He doesn't. I was like this close to playing. I'm actually going to play this instead. Um, I, I was like this close to playing uh, Giant Wasp in all of my decks. It's a three mana, two, two Stealth Poisonous. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try really hard, by the way, to win this. I am sick and tired of losing to this Raynad individual. This guy hasn't played Hearthstone consistently in years, and here I am playing it every goddamn day of my life, basically, and I can't beat this man. Guess I wanna, I mean, I have to play Servant and Kalamos, right? So I can Blaze Caller, so no real choice here. Ooh, Scrapyard Colossus, Taunt, Death Rattle, Summon a 7-7, Felcrack Colossus, Taunt, ooh. Um, just take Scrapyard Colossus, so I have a big lad. I'm gonna go Fire Elemental. I just think it's gonna be a little more flexible. I'm not gonna make this attack though. Um, I'm kind of okay with this. I think we're trading first though. I can actually full trade here and just play the Behemoth and just be pretty happy with my position, right? So next turn we're gonna do these two and then we have this into the ultimate infestation and I think that's just the play. Do I wanna do this and trade? Not really gaining any armor, sure. Maintain a disgusting board presence here. See, like you can't use, there's no swipe. There's no innervate. There's no savage roars. So weird playing Druid without those really, really good cards. Well, probably not gonna win this one, but that's okay. Just blaze call this 4-4 four -four and uh, pray. I do want the empty mana crystal. So is there ever a reason for me to trade here? Probably not. Even if he devolves me, I don't really care. It's still pretty great for me. Look how good though. Honestly, might get a W here. If he does three to everything, does he do three to everything? I don't even remember what my own cards do. Um, it seems better than Volcano then, doesn't it? I don't remember what it does and I'm too lazy to Google it. It does do three to everything. Okay, I thought it did that. Okay, nice. You gotta protect my health total, so I'll trade. I don't know if I want to do this. I definitely want to play the 7-7 seven, seven here, right? So the question is, I think I'm going to kill the 7-7. Seven, seven, taking, like, we don't really need to worry about losing this game, I don't think. This this way he needs another point of damage. Well, that's good. Because that gets buffed. Jade Idols, Earth and Scales, another Jade Idol. There's Malfurion. Malfurion's sick. So if I knew I was going to draw Malfurion, I think I actually would have hit face there. Because that I would have put him at 8. <sighs> Bad matchup and he draws the nuts. Come on. I should have played this first in case I get the two, three, uh, 
your creatures cost more. Four damage to your hero. Huh. Blaze Callers like Ultimate Infestation. It just draws five less cards and doesn't gain five life. We'll get buffed anyway, so we can kill this for free. Kill this. This does six, right? Yeah, the six. Let's hit this. I don't like about the two, three on board. Actually, maybe there's a reason to kill it, but it's just free. It's just three damage to happen. I'd rather just hit face here because there's a there's a good chance I'm just gonna kill him like probably in a couple of turns here, right? Hmm. Magnetic taunt. A two five taunt for three. Happened to Silverback Patriarch. At the start of your turn, shuffle this minion into your deck. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna take this big idiot. Um, and I mean, I guess just just play some stuff out. It's possible playing fireflies wrong because of spreading plague. I don't think I care about plague very much. I also just play this. Uh, this doesn't give you the the draw card though. But I'm pretty sure I want to swing into this, right? Yeah, I think this is fine. Definitely want more. I want another ability. Also, for people who don't know, Yogg is unnerfed, which means <laughs> if he does end up killing himself, he will uh, he will still cast spells. And if you were there during that time, it's um, it's pretty it's pretty picante how this goes. Um, hmm. yeah, just properly fucked. I think we could do something like this. And something like this, I guess. Yeah, doesn't feel great. So the real problem I'm gonna have here is like, do I wonder if I just play Yogg? I don't really need to though. So let's get through it. I'm, I'm kind of okay with that. <laughs> I almost forgot that someone's a second. <laughs> okay, Lotus agents could let us cheese. I'm playing one copy of this card because I'm a greedy bastard, but it might uh, let me... Or I could just double Jade because they're bigger. I don't know, I should have rolled first. That was a really sloppy uh, last couple of clicks, but uh, that's like basically the right play this turn, I think. Okay, I fucked that up really bad. I should have uh, Jade Light, yeah. I should have Jade Lightning the one four and then attacked with Fire Elemental. So I, I missed a couple damage, but. Okay, I'm trading hitting face. Oh, unless it's taunt and I'm crying. Nice, it's fine. I'm playing the, the second spreading plague here. Oh, no, I want to hear it power. So we're gonna do this. I'm going for lethal boys. I think it's better to play Stonehill before Lotus Agents because uh, his hero power is just going to kill us if we don't. And I think we just take the biggest, dumbest thing we can. We could take Living Monument, which is the biggest, dumbest thing. Stagadon, we could play this turn, which is cute. Maybe it is just Stagadon. I don't really have room for like Jade Summoning or Lotus Agent exactly. And I'll just, I'll just play this because I can play it now. And uh, yeah, we'll just start killing all of his uh, men. Spreading Plagues is an insane card to begin with, but uh, really at its best against Shaman. Just a little awkward, unfortunately. Oh God, I would have had lethal. Two taunts. Yeah, I kind of need to do this into this though. I need to kill this. Life to spare anyways. Okay, so, uh, is there any reason to trade? If I trade, does it change the, it doesn't really change the clock, to be honest. I could do these two bombs. I think this is fine, though. Okay, this has to go here, and these have to go here. This is the most awkward game I've ever played. Sure. Maybe I should have Jade Clawed again. I just want to hit face here and pass. If 
So he can't yog me either, right? That's always something I have to consider because he has, uh, the, he knows that yog's on Earth. I told him, he asked me about it. Hold on, we're not dead. What if I get a healing card? Huh, next spell is cast twice. I haven't attacked with anything yet, so I could kill the 8-8. Eight eight. I could full clear play Edwin, and then I have no taunts. So six and two. This trades in. Oh good, my hero power didn't go off. Oh, my hero power didn't go off. That's so important. Not really though. There's a couple turns I could have sequenced stuff better, but it's none of it mattered. Like it could have done two more damage to him this game. Like it, who gives a fuck? I think it was unwinnable. All right, that's one in the bag. Feels good, man. Feel we get, we're, we're winning! Team Raring! Let me know in a comment down below if you think I'm gonna win after I won this game. Okay, like, and type like something that let me know that you, you are enjoying the video, right? Cause if you like, I like I like those comments. I read a lot of bad comments like, Raring, you're gonna lose to Raynad, which I don't wanna read in the comments. What the hell? Normally I would play another deck, but I just, I really think Shaman is gonna be good against whatever the next thing he plays is. Hmm. Some of my decks are very wonky. I'm really not confident in this Warlock deck. I don't even know what it is. I kind of just put stuff in. It's it's not exactly Demon. It's like, it's Control Warlock, sort of, but it's not Singleton. I think it's a good deck. We'll see. Oh, right. Right. <laughs> I wanted to play some spicy demons. Ooh. <laughs> All right, now we pray we don't draw any of those cards and we get the sweet payoff of a vanilla 5-6 when I draw it. It's gonna be great. Prince Malkazar? Wait. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, is this a mental gap here for Braidad? I was so tempted to just shoot it because uh, there's like no mortal coil in this format, but I'd rather just tap, I think. It's not worth uh, losing the tap this turn. I'm gonna play this turn. Turn. Can we trade this now? I'm behind, I'll just trade, it's not a big deal. Skull, Prince Malkazar is really interesting. Yeah, better to tap again, I think. Play Homunculus next turn. All three of these classes, I'm really happy to take cards from. Ooh, I don't really want that. I don't really want this either, to be honest. I guess I'll just take it, it's not bad. What the fuck is this? Battle Cry, at a copy of each other, each of your other battle cry minions to your hand of like the ones I have in play. I mean, hopefully homunculus lives, I guess. And then we just play that thing on curve. Oh, interesting, interesting, interesting. I mean, I get punished for it if I don't do this right. I think it's just easily the correct decision. Is it though? Like would I rather coin this out? Cause most, all my demons in my deck are good, but I feel weird. Cause I have like, I have three turn five plays. This is a mistake. I'm going to pull it out. It's fine. I'll own up to it. This, uh, uh, he's probably wondering like, oh, like why did it take him so long to play the freaking skull? Well, listen, Raynet. Skull of the Minari. Hmm. Well, uh, I gotta get this down and I think I'm just gonna trade while I can. Please pull it out, please pull it out, please pull it out. It's a it's a 66% chance for me not to look like a dumbass here. Perfect. Okay, we're doing this. I gotta be honest, boys, I think my deck is terrible. <laughs> my deck is diluted with spider tanks. Nothing could have been done to avoid this situation. Playing Malthazar was unavoidable. Let's try this. I mean, this is the slowest minion I have, right? This guy takes care of that. It's a good draw. That is the plan. I forgot I put Rin in the deck. That makes me really happy. Okay, so that's the plan for the mirror. Unless he has silence or something. This should be really, really good. Yeah, double chase is fine. We can start with this though. Doom. Ooh, thought steal. Yeah, we're gonna play the Lich King anyways next turn. The benefit of this play is that if he goes for a board clear, like there's no twisting nether. There's no like big AOE for Warlock, I'm gonna be honest. There's like no way to clear like a really big board. Hmm. So I could board wipe this turn. I could board wipe next turn. Um, my life total is so fucking low. I'm gonna go to seven life after his turn if I abyssal. It's really bad. 
But I think it might be better to drain soul this first. All right, so he's gonna hit me for damage. I'm gonna play Void Lord, and we pray, I guess. I don't know. Okay. I mean, I like the Lich King again. I, I don't. Warlock doesn't have insane removal, so. Force reaction. Good card. Mm, so the seals won't do anything. I guess I'll pay nine mana for Void Lord. Uh, probably just dead. Is there any reason for me to want to defile here to push three? I don't think so. But that's fine. I could honestly just save this. I don't really need to not do this. The, the issue with this is if, if I don't kill it now, oh, we definitely do it. I was thinking about holding it, but if he has this, oh my God, if he has the second defile here, it's crazy. Well, what can you do? Just play some shit and lose, I guess. It's gonna be the line. All unwinnable all the time. Nothing in the deck gets me out of this, so we're just gonna do this. <clears throat> Hell yeah. All right, so that is Jade and Skull done. I will do Raza now. Well, we're making it look close for the fans. Maybe we'll let Raren win four times before we sweep him. I wonder if he thought of Raza. There's no way he didn't. Oh my god, dude, it's like a dragon Raza deck, I believe. So this is a good hand. Against Priest, I feel like Aya might be good. Oh, that's super interesting. I'm actually gonna Blossom next turn because it's gonna let me coin uh, coin Aya, which I think is the right curve this game. Um, but yeah, if you build the Priest deck, it's like you get Raza and Shadow Priest Anduin, which is like maybe the best card in the format. There's like no way to kill big creatures and it kills all of them. And then so you get Raza, Anduin, and you get Kazakus, which is insane. But then the other 27 cards in your deck are hot garbage. And um, not hot garbage, but like hot garbage. So I, uh, I don't know, I didn't end up playing Priest. I almost did. Maybe I should have. I think it might be right to make this attack. Yeah, yeah, it is. Wow. Um, oh, the Lich King. No, I'll take the free trade. Might as well. My hand's looking good. Like, I'm feeling optimistic here, man. Maybe it's going to be better to just double Spellstone Jade Spirit, his guy. It's going to make his life hard. I'm going to do it. Uh, yeah, let's, let's get pressure down. He rain at his face as I played that, by the way. Come on, dude. You're only good four drop into your only good card. Come on. And then come back to me like. <laughs> oh, we're going to have a very hard game on our hands. Very, very hard game. I could just behemoth dome him. I could, I could trade Aya. I think I'm supposed to let Taunt do its job and go face. Because, like, both of these are kind of like this one's not really, but this one's a must kill. So, if he double trades into this, like, there's not really a reason to play a potion here because I just give him board, anyways, and I'd rather hold it in case I absolutely need it. Twig's an okay draw. It gives me a way to actually clear the board here, which is worth doing. We'll just do this. Yeah, the, the, this is the reason I didn't want to play Priest. I built it, and then I also put Bone Drake in the deck, and I was like, man, if I'm playing Bone Drake, something's uh, gone wrong. Uh, at least we're getting a lot of Jades down, and we drew Kelseth, which is honestly like super nice, because big Jade Behemoth. Nice, I get a face tank, this nine damage animal. That's gonna feel good. Oh no, I don't have to face tank. I can just trade. Beautiful. Okay, yeah, let's do that. The Aya trade instead of Psychic Scream doing its thing. There's a bunch of ways for him to clear the board, but I'm just gonna like make him have it because, um, yeah. I don't know. He handwins me, he handwins me. 
There is an animal in my deck and I'm holding it back as long as I can. I hope I draw it and it's not like what happens last time where I only draw one of the copies. I'm in a really good spot right now. But I think this place is disgusting. I mean, it kind of feels gross because it's by cards that were both generated, but that's Hearthstone, right? So he didn't have it. That's really good. He only had the Raza. I think that means we're really far ahead then. Or he just wants an even bigger Anduin. Um, I'd rather just put more damage on the 6-6 six, because six, he needs a board wipe anyway. But, but this is undead as well. Why, why did you get Lich King? Because fuck you, Ran, that's why. Maybe that trade is wrong. Maybe I'm supposed to go face. I don't know. Oh. Ooh. Oh. What did he do last turn? He ultimate infestation. That's not great. Because this will be like probably his pop off turn. In that case, I'm going to make an 8 8. Fucking like I mean he could psychic scream all my dreams away. I frost smart, I take format 20. Oh, that's a lot of damage. I don't think I can. So I'm probably gonna go this. I don't I think at this point I'd rather have tempo than not. What must I so it's it's this, this, this. Yeah. That card is so gross, by the way. All right. Maybe I'm just supposed to Mire Keeper there, and I'm just supposed to sandbag Jade Spirit until after Anduin. I don't think I'm ever winning if he draws it. Like a good trade. Okay, let's trade this one first. Let's see what we got. Oh my god. <laughs> ordering okay so like again I think taunts need to do their job I can't give up nine damage to kill radiant elemental much as it sucks to let it live I can heal the two no, three does no matter what so this goes here just three damage everything Oh, actually, they might play this. I think the psychic screen turn like rolled them. Like, I think the psychic screen turn was absolutely incredible. Hmm. All right, we'll let him win one more and then we'll start trying. All right, this is secret hunter. Um, I was going to go for spell hunter, but like there literally isn't enough good spells for the rock to package to work. Okay, Death Soccer Rex is good, obviously. I'll keep this. Let's try it. Ooh, it's a good draw. It's a good curve. I hope it uh, gets there. So th this Hunter deck is a brew. It's like, it's got this weird beast hand buffing synergy, but it's also a secret synergy deck. Um, yeah, so it's got some spicy ones, but I'm uh, I'm optimistic. I think it's good. Ooh, that's kind of spooky. So far, I'm 100% against, uh, so far with deck selection or class selection, we're, we're in the same boat. Which is kind of cool, man. Yeah, I mean, this just seems like the best turn to do this. Um, so this is probably Wandering Monster. Obviously, I'm gonna just go for it. Oof. That's that's the rain at RNG. Not a great card, but I will do the same thing. I don't have the spell still, though. Like, maybe I should hold it. Good Rat Pack first. I'm gonna fall so fucking far behind if I stitch Tracker. I guess Rat Pack it is. Beast Rager can buff some other stuff later. You wanna play a second on the hunt? I have Death Soccer Rexer, so I say when it comes to value, I'm not that bad, sad about it. I think that's actually correct. I kinda wanna do damage to this. Because I have Death Soccer Rexer, I think this is fine.
I think I gotta get this secret out of my hand so that um, Spellstone's ready to go. Okay, I'll say this is first. Ugh, Catrick sucks. All right, it's fine. I'm not really playing around Grievous Spites, but I don't think I can at this point, right? He also, he has a couple different cards and I, God, it's so good. I drew Dust Sucker Rex right here, man. It's so good. Candle Shot. Raren is playing 10 ways to do one damage for one mana in the mono control mirror matchups. And uh, and then there's Hunter, which is what he queued into. And so his cards are live. This is insane. Maybe I just eat it then for a turn. Can I raise him back? Not really. Oh, he didn't have cat trick. It's good. Yeah, see that? That's what I was building my deck around was the spell stone. I think I have to trade. Because I swapped my hero power, I no longer have that like contingency plan, contingency plan of just hitting my hero power every single turn and killing him, right? Uh, which means that I have to rely on my hero power. We do have Call of the Wild, which is fun. Hmm. Professor Future side's kind of tempting. Because random hunter secret could help keep me alive, maybe. Kind of just want to take Zip Gunner though. I have a I have a good three drop to jam here. Well, good enough three drop. Should have swung at that first. But what is this? Oh, oh at least he also got a bad one. All right. This is one mana, so I guess it's fine. It ruins my deck though. Ew! The fuck is this combination? I must want. I don't want to play it. I'd rather just play two, three through wolves. I guess this has charge. We'll take the charge option. Hmm. That was pretty good for me. I mean, all things considered, like his his turn could have gone a lot worse for us. We have an okay way to kill some of his guys here instead of Professor Putricide. Yeah, we could Putricide on eight with all, all of those. Seems good. We do have Call of the Wild, which is We have two Call of the Wilds. It's a good trade, I think. I don't, I'm just, I'm just not meant to win games today. I don't know what's up. Guess he's just better than me. It's the spell. Okay, so if I Rexar right now, uh, Rexar does six damage, which puts him at five. So I'm two damage off with the zombies. I actually feel like that's the play. It has to be the play. I also got the rest of the minions. Okay. We we definitely built a different deck though. I didn't use a lot of these cards. I went for the more spell oriented package. All right. Well, like we said, we let him win that one. So. Now that it's neck and neck, we're behind zero four in this best of nine. Now it's time to reverse sweep him. All right, we're on to my worst deck. Uh, I called it, I don't know, for very specific reasons because I didn't think it would be good. This is just aggro shaman. So I have five chances to win a game to literally beat Radon. But dude, imagine if I sweep a man. Oh my God. That'd be crazy. I've been, to be fair, and I'm gonna say this in the video because I know people are gonna say it. Um, I've gotten pretty lucky with my draws here. I'm like, legitimately, I've been lucky, right? I've been lucky. I'm not gonna say I'm not, but that's part of Hearthstone, right? I'm gonna coin the twig, so I'm gonna keep Meyer Keeper so I have a follow up. Yeah, so I think I totem turn two then. And then the following turn, I probably go like this into totem. Why is this, this, this photo is so JPEG? I don't know why. Maybe it's just the style of art. I'll wait. Also, this is like an evolve. Package, I guess. The worst totem, unfortunately, but is what it is. Mm -hmm. Feels good to have coin Jade Blossom. There's not a lot of ramp in this uh, game mode. So, like, the bigger problem is, is that if he has spreading plague, I'd probably just lose. I haven't gotten any of the. Um... Such I think I'm gonna do this though. I haven't gotten any of the evolve cards, but that's where we can get clutched. My thought process with my last deck here was like, you don't have any burn. All of Shaman's burn's gone. Like I don't have Bloodlust, I don't have Lightning Storm, but I do have evolve. Man, that makes me want to ramp now. Cause if we ramp, we go, no, nah, I, I have to twig. If I don't twig now, I'm never twigging. Oh, let's kill this one so you can reroll it. All 
That's a four minute seven seven though, dude. Well, like I, I guess ramping is better than making a two two. I guess I'll attack this, and then I'll just wait because uh, yeah, I think we need spellstone after Malfurion. That's going there no matter what. Let's be real here. I might just go like just totem and pass. The problem is if he has spreading plague, I get absolutely rolled. I can't beat spreading plague, unfortunately. Like I kind of want to play this because I guess if he does play spreading plague and I get the evolve, it's good. But then he just trades into it, right? If I totem, it's awful. I think I'm going to hold this for an evolve package. I think I'm going to totem. Taunt is bad for us, um, but... Yeah, I don't, I don't think much changes here. I think I have to Malfurion still. Yeah. Oh, I was really supposed to be playing Medivh. I don't know if I ended up putting him in. Unfortunately, this has to happen. Okay, so what are we doing? Um, I could go Totem. If I Totem, then my thing from below's cost three each, and I can go for that next turn. So I can go like Totem and Deseric. He just showed me he doesn't have Spreading Plague. So and I feel like that was a pretty good Spreading Plague, but it was also a pretty good Malfurion turn. It basically does the same thing without actually using a Spreading Plague because it could just get worse, right? If I get Healing Totem, it's good. I'll do this. Unfortunate. I, I got to kill the 7-6, right? There's just There's no way around it. This is gonna set the stick behind a turn. Absolutely brutal. I think I have to swing anyway. He, he shouldn't have like burn. There, there's no bloodlust. There's no like lava burst. There's no lightning bolt in this format. No rock biter. No doom hammer. I mean, I'm getting all excited. He's taking two damage, but does it really? I need to evolve. Wait, is that thrall that seeker? Oh, the lich king. Okay, so it's a good chance to clear up my board a little bit, right? I'm about to fill it up again. Yo, can I have another? Can I have another totem? <laughs> All right. Well, here we go, boys. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. I can't wait for this turn. He's got 19 mana to work with. I think I want to kill Seth instead of hero powering. Why did I think it gave me 10 mana? Wasn't it always 10 mana? Okay, to be fair, I was expecting something a lot worse. So I like this trade. I like this trade. I am gonna basically protect my Lich King here. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm okay with this trade. If my Lich King lives, oh. If my Lich King lives, it's a much bigger deal than literally anything else. A lot of my really good, like I have so many spells in my deck that I don't think that's ever correct. I think I'm okay trading and then going face and then playing Aya into this and then even playing this is fine. I haven't seen a spreading plague. He just drew five cards though, man. I, I don't beat spreading plague, right? I don't, be, I don't beat it. So I'm just gonna pretend it doesn't exist. Yeah, I think I kill this. Yeah, this is looking like an L. Oh! I feel like holding off on Lich King is right. I think we're gonna get more mileage out of uh, playing a bunch of men. I think this attack might even be right. Maybe I'm supposed to, I'm probably supposed to value trade there. Yeah, I was supposed to value trade there, given my hand. <laughs> that shit was fucking horrific, man. Oh. I, I, every time I play Hearthstone, it's like a Mandela effect thing. It's like uh, sometimes they change these cards, and you know, I'm just I'm wondering if I'm like misremembering what it used to do. That was good. Yeah, we won. I, I really fucked up with Twig that game, but luckily we got there. Um, so what's gonna beat his Shaman? Uh, all five of these decks, I guess. 
All right, so there's the evolved package, right? So we can go this one of those. One, two, four drops. <laughs> that seven, seven was like, hey, dude, what's up? Hey, what's up? Hello. We still get two four drops on turn four if I wanted. I think this is fine. This just makes my thing from below cheaper. It's also something that he has to kind of answer. Mm, well, I just got to get a three, two down. I was hoping I'd draw a beast for it, but I didn't. I still think it was right to keep Cloaked Huntress Venom Strike Trap. Whoa, he's letting the stuff happen. Whoa, I drew the good cards in my deck. That's got to be weird to see, huh? Okay. We'll start with this just in case. Venomous Scorpion, eh? That's actually a real pain in the ass. Because, uh, as you could probably guess, if I go for the big evolve package, God, this is bad. No way, I'm going to get reverse stuff in this deck, bro. I could just stitch. I could Huntress now because she's bigger than Zip Gunner. But no, I want to Zip Gunner sooner rather than later, even though I don't have a beast in hand for it, just because, uh, we want these stats out of it as soon as possible. Um,. I don't know how I feel about killing these, because like Rexar is going to do it anyway. Which one should I kill, if any? I guess the one, two. Yeah, whatever, let's, let's make it a little harder for him to kill stuff. I, just just go and face when he's at 30 and I have no burn in this deck, just doesn't seem right. I could do this into this, but I think it's wrong. I think I have to go for like an insane turn. So if I play this, he just trades into it and I'm behind two mana. I'm going to do this. So we got some guys, the professor. Well, let's see what Stitch Tracker gets us. I want to get a two mana spell. Okay, we could Beast Rager now in order to get a three, two down, but he could have Volcano or something. Could just take Kodo because it's the best card, but it's going to be really awkward with my curve, the way my hand is. So I think it's just got to be Beast Rager and the beasts are going to rage. He has that Maelstrom card. I know I have Rexar, but uh, I don't know. I don't want to telegraph it. This card's naturally what six mana, so give me a seven drop. I think I have to wait one more turn. I guess I. I don't need to tone him. I don't need to tone him. God damn it! I, I think my biggest regret this turn or this game or my biggest regret so far has just been playing the army of the Frozen Throne because I gave him so much information on what I'm going for. And I don't know how much that really is going to make a difference in the grand scheme of this. I saw him play Devolve. Maybe I should trade my 3-1 while I can. But is Rexar even good here? Not really. I'm going to ignore Healing Totem. I don't know. It, it... It feels to me like just playing big dudes might be better. That's not good enough. That's not good enough. Okay, I need to go for a much more early game package. God, I'm really going to lose this, am I? Damn it, man. Damn it. Okay, hey, we got some wins. If Raren uploaded at 5 owing me in a best of nine, we might have retired, boys. We might have retired. But it's all going according to plan. We uh, let him win with a few. I'm actually really worried about my warrior deck. I think it might struggle with his shaman deck. Let's get a win with warrior uh, warlock quick, because um, warlock should be really good. I think of the decks I have left, this one probably has the best matchup against his, because it has two abyssal enforcers and despicable dreadlord and defile. So he's gonna have a hard time getting a big evolve off. Vulgar homunculus is a really good draw though, because. Um, it's like the best opening hand thing I can have, I think. I see. <laughs> now this is the Warlock variant. We saw what this was with his Prince Malkazar, which I completely forgot about. Okay, Lich King's slow, but whatever. Raynad, why'd you put two homunculus in your arena Warlock deck? Okay, this, if he trades into this, we get to kill this for free, right? Lothab's a great draw. Or a good roll off Malkazar. You don't usually get playables off that card in my experience. Why put it in your deck then, they ask. Well, that is a good question. We do have Devolve. Okay, so Devolve's really good against specific demons, I think. Just mono Reno cards in my all duplicates Warlock deck. 
Maybe Prince Malhazar was not optimal deck building. Maybe something about it could have been a little better. Skulking guys still get his evolves. <laughs> I almost want to go like coin, coin into Bone Mare, right? So I think I'm going to totem here. Knock it. This, I should probably do this then. This 1-1 one, one is bad against Warlock because it just sets up the board. This is so awkward. Man, this deck is so shit. I was feeling so good. And then like I'm realizing this evolved deck is fine. <clears throat> I'm not really going to tap again. I'm just going to play stuff over and over and pray. Yeah, I just need one of these to live. If one of these lives, that means I can go coin bone, bone mare into bone mare and then I have a real chance here. Yeah, I, I'm going to Geist before I Cabal Trafficker. Let's try that. Oh, shit. I don't think I'm ever going to financially recover from that. Yes, yeah, Spellstone, I cry. I have to go face, though. It is what it is, man. That's good of him to, to include that card. It is really strong. Um, I'm going to tap first in case I get Amethyst, because I'm going to do the Zealot line, I guess. I have to attack for it. Or maybe I didn't. No, I didn't have to. Whatever. It doesn't much matter. Okay, so probably probably dead. I don't love this situation. Okay, I'm going to play the Lich King next turn. So the question is, do I want to hold this for this? I think I'm going to go like this, this totem. I'm not talking to it. Sorry, I, I'm really trying to think this through because like I'm trying to figure out how I win this game. Well, I'm glad the evolves are gone. Um, taunt while at full health. This has plus two attack. Taunt, death rattle, gain eight armor. He has devolve in his deck, so big expensive taunts are scary. Um, kind of like the echo taunt, I think. Maybe that's just better. Yeah. I need cheaper, more powerful things per mana uh, to start dumping my hand as quickly as I can. I'm gonna hold this because if I get, when I get Thrall, hopefully, I need something insane here. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. There it is. Okay, beautiful. So, so tap shoot one six seems right. Ooh, better to just drain soul than I think so. Yeah, I mean, what are you gonna do? It's it's got to be this, right? It's... Oh, Stonehill defenders saving my life. I legitimately think the play is play this, take this, and just go face. Actually, like, maybe I skip the damage. I obliterate this and just go face. That's probably the play. Not face, sorry. This. This goes here. We saw one spell sound. I think I'm actually okay with playing this as well. It's not lethal, but it's set. It's close. It's close. Fuck, this is... It's not getting better, and I don't think I'll have time to play it again. the fuck is this? Huh. It's a bit unfortunate because I have to trade here, right? Oh no, this is so bad because now he gets the free trade. He also has the hero power. I used evolve there. Shit. Okay, let's just do this, right? Okay, it worked out. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, it's so brutal, dude. The fucking skulking guys too. I should have maybe kept uh maybe this time I'll keep if I get if I see uh thrall, I'll keep it. Okay, so Warlock did it. Um so it's three to four. Comeback is real. We we won with uh Druid, Warlock, Hunter. Let's play this warrior deck for a game. Um, just so you guys get to see it before the match ends. Hopefully it wins, but his deck makes a bunch of tokens and totems, and that's really good against my quest. But also I have some whirlwind effects, which should be good against him. Uh, this is good later. This is good later. Hmm. 
Blood Razor is like the card I was really hoping to see, or Stonehill Defender. He ended up picking Warrior. This might evolve. Kaylani might be good to throw back. Oh my god. I, maybe I'm playing this deck wrong. I don't know. I'm I'm so in my head here, dude. I'm actually gonna get reverse swept. This is so ah! Ooh, okay. We got a plan. What could possibly go wrong? Imagine it's like not a six drop. This is fine. I trade so evenly into this, and it's great. Evolve here would be cool. Second Maelstrom Portal. Yeah, we're good with this. Do I even want a totem? I will. I miss a one one here. Oh, I was thinking of just not playing anything, but it's gonna be better to play it. Um, taunt Battlecry summon three random one cost minions from your for your opponent. Okay, Taunt Battlecry cast a copy of one. This card's nuts. All these cards are good. I'm not sure which of these two I want. They're both really good. Ask a copy of the last spell your opponent played. I guess this lets me devolve him once in a while. Let's, let's take the spicy one. This is fun. Get more value. Oh my God, please give me evolve. Please give me unstable evolution. Please give me uh thrall here. I haven't evolved once with my evolve deck, dude. Just take that in for a second. Ooh, okay, that's a good card. Um, which of these two is better? Um, the sooner the, the big one goes in the deck, the better, maybe. I need to push damage. Unfortunately, it's kind of a boring warrior deck to play. Play the most expensive thing in your hand every turn. Complain about not drawing Blood Razor against Shaman and then lose. Dude, where are my cards that I need? This is ridiculous. Oh my God. I'm so tilted. Like I need an evolve. Mm -hmm. Dude, this isn't real. I, I, I keep throwing all my stuff. <laughs> I'm not upset. I'm not upset. I'm okay. Healing? Ooh. All is right in the world. Oh, I miss Primordial Drake. You see how Primordial this Drake was? Holy fuck. Oh, okay, at least we got Bone Mare. A little slow, unfortunately, though. I'm trading this is fine. Oh my god. Dude, I'm gonna- Oh god, I- 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 Where's my evolves, man? Like, where, where the fuck are they? I guess I gotta face tank it, but that's okay. Um... I'll take another mid-sized one. Oh, I could go like Tar Lord, Stone Hill. I, I don't like spending seven mana on stuff when he has Devolve. Um, I want to take the Shambler, actually. I just want the time and the mana to do my Sulfurous shenanigans. Okay. I thought it would kill Bone Mare. Why did I think it swung five? Oh my god. Please. Ten drops are generally good. Get an eight. Rag is lethal. The problem with this is he kills it with the hero power. I died a Jade Lightning if I make that attack. I'm not gonna play around a one of 
when I'm this far behind, I can't afford to. see that Garrosh turn again, I might have fucked it up. But I don't know if he had Thrall Evolve, I don't, I don't, I don't know, I don't, I don't know that there's like a line that wins that game. I just kinda gotta play my most expensive thing over and over. All right, Raren wins one. Gotta let him win once in a while. Yeah, thanks for the games, thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Oh my God, GG's Raynad. I finally won, dude! Yes! yes! Other than this fucking Shaman deck, I'm pretty happy with the way I build my decks overall. GG's, dude. I hope you guys like this. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one.